peeps happy sunday welcome back to these corner today's video is gonna be a lot of tea to spill you guys I'm so excited and make sure you guys hit the like subscribe and notification bell because if you want to be a part of this family that's how you gotta get a part of this family by hitting those three things and thank you guys so much for subscribing new and old and yes this week's tea today's tea it's some tea, y'all, and I'm ready to spill it. How are y'all today? All right, Lena and King, they were on their way to Louisiana, and they had a Tesla, and they was talking about King's son, Kaiser, in this video, and why they barely have him as much. Now, the Tesla thing was like a sponsorship video, but they were just explaining, like, why we don't really see him as much whereas our life is hectic and this is what lane a majority of the video we have to understand kaiser goes to school in louisiana monday through friday it's a four-hour drive to louisiana if we was to go pick him up not saying it's impossible to but to go on a vacation is a little impossible but if we was to go pick him up it takes four hours to bring him back it's another four hours so that's eight, eight hours. hours all together then he can really only spend saturday with us and then sunday we have to bring him right back so he can be at school for monday so it's been a really tough year for everybody like it's yeah. been a tough year and i know it seems like you just never have him and stuff like that because before he went to school in louisiana he was with us he was doing all the activities with us we was going to wolf great lounge with him he went to rhode island with us like we was doing you know kaiser was in all the vlogs so i know a lot of you guys are not used to not seeing him in the video so it's like where is he where is he and yeah it's been a long year yeah. it's been a long year him doing activities with us as well but um, man, just us, just adjusting, cause our newborn, um, millennial, been born for like two months now, so that's adjustment to the family. Got big one, and you know having Kaiser on the other side of the state, that's a no one. Then having a toddler that's just made two years old, that's giving us terrible too. All uh, that is a lot as really being a you know family oriented and adult and being there for the kids and so so but everything falls into its place. Everything is just a learning situation and a learning system too be able to put your life in order with certain different things that involves around all of us because it's like what five of us now so it's like it's, yeah five of us now so you have to accommodate for each one yeah and sometimes it all the time sometimes they don't know we don't always meet the eye on um, situation but yeah today is really on that but really main main part is going out there to see him how this tussle little um ride for us and get out there and just have some good times with him and stuff. i ain't gonna lie so far so good with the tussle though like like we haven't had to spend like we haven't had to stop fans were not happy and this is what they had to say y'all know y'all really went on a trip to show that car off to everyone honestly y'all could have been visiting that little boy both king and neek should have been ashamed of themselves i feel bad for kaiser he looks really he, he really looks sad at times i know he probably feels he's missing out on so much seeing his mama and daddy both on here and there and then this one fan also said at this point it's just sad kaiser doesn't live with his mom or his dad they did they don't want to give up their life to do what they had to do for their son. That's weird. At least Lena and King could let him live with them. They have other kids, his siblings, and each other to help. So why not? King, you can't get up and get your son to school. Y'all can take care of your daughters, but not your son. So I really, really get everything. And y'all can just keep going. Because they kind of already did like a little video and I kind of covered a video why the situation is the way it is. Like why he's going four hours away, why he's in Louisiana. Like I already did a video about that. But my point of view of this, I think King should be the main one talking because that's his son. Why is Lena doing majority of the talking? Because if you guys continue to watch the video, when King starts talking, he talks more about the Tesla then he talks about why he barely have his son most of the time. Now that they have a newborn baby, they have Oshin, I think that's the girl's the other daughter name. And then his original firstborn is King, McKaiser, sorry. My thing is, Lena should not have no master parts in talking and explaining. I just think that King should have been the one explaining and speaking on facts 
Because, Lana, you're just a stepmom. Or get ready to be stepmom. You're just a fiance. You're just with King. So, you should not really be opening up your opinion 100% on why such and such to such and such. And such. Next topic we have is Brittany and... I remember, Brittany had posted a statement about why not her and Dub aren't together. Am I happy? A lot of people took me saying I was single and ran with it. And now it's all these, oh, Dub cheated on her, this, and third. So, yes, we did break up. But the breakup wasn't because of cheating. Me and Dejan, we both sat down. We had a mutual conversation and we both decided the relationship isn't for neither one of us so we decided to call it quits hence the reason why we can still be in the house with each other for the time being yes I do want to branch off and get my own place and just see how it is to be by myself because me and Deja has been on and off since we were teenagers and we never got to experience living by ourselves. So that's why I said I want my own apartment. It was nothing like, oh, he cheated on her. He didn't tell me I had to get out. Nothing. So I don't want anybody taking my side because they feel like he cheated or, you know, bashing him or anything it was just literally a mutual agreement to where we both was like okay this not working out for us you don't want to fix it i don't want to fix it let's just call it what it is and still just be cool cordial because we got kids together so that's what that was so i i turned the comments off on that video you choking did you just call oh but yeah so that's why the video, the comments is turned off in that video because none of the statements. Watch my last video that'll be linked below. My opinion about everything in this situation still stands. And not only Dub came out with a video, but also a guy that used to work for Dub named Skyler came out with a video. And he has some things to say about Dub as well. And, and by the end of it, he said he wanted to take a break. That was pretty much it. I, you know, came back and, and thanked him and was grateful for the opportunity and, and honestly hoped that we could meet in person to talk about it more and kind of move forward on whether that means I was still working for him or, or if we were just gonna, you know, you know, part ways or whatever, I don't know. I'm kind of like the person that wants to do things in person and, and figure it out that way. So I put it out there and was like, yo, if we can meet, just let me know. And I just, I never heard anything back. And that's, that's the story, man. So in my head, I just, I didn't have a choice on what I was going to do next. And I'm not going to lie. Yeah, I was, I was hurt. I was upset in the moment for sure. But I think over time and after the months have passed, um, I think it's just like gratefulness that has come to, to all of it because, because, you know, over the, over the year working with him, you know, I learned a lot of things about YouTube and, and things like that on you know, thumbnails and, and, and title making and, and video storylines and developing and just like, you know, how to do things. And, and obviously you guys can see his, his, the way Dub and their whole family operates with videos, it, it kind of, <laughs> my YouTube channel is kind of framed around, you know, the same ideas or same, same line of thinking with titles and thumbnails. And so like, I learned a lot of things um, from our time about YouTube and and so I'm grateful for that. Yeah, but you know, in that moment when it happened, everybody saw me just immediately start working for Preston and thought that was the reason and that I wanted to just, that, that I wanted to just do my own thing and, and that's why we stopped working together. And like I said, man, that wasn't, that wasn't the case. I, I felt like I had no choice and uh, the thing with Preston kind of just fell in my lap at that time. And so I was like, well, I don't know if we're taking a break. I don't really know what's happening. I, I didn't know what to do. And so I was like, all right, well, I'll just, I'll just go with Preston and do these shows and do things like that. And, and so I, I it kind of just put me in that position. and. And a lot of people saw it the other way. Can't really have a, another uh, surviving dub or surviving Sid type thing because I feel like a lot of people are coming after dub. And I guess, you know, they want to really show their true side. For today's video, you guys, let us know in the comment section down below what you guys think about each topic in today's video. Make sure you also join the film by liking, subscribe, and hitting the notification bell. 
And also, just want to say happy Sunday. Thank you guys for tuning in. All right. See you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.